Takes a little work to keep track of which things are still active on this map. I think the big thing is to look for red things for the main, main, main quest at least. But actually, the one of the best filters for what quests are active is actually just to look at the map itself. Just because this is a lot to parse. But waypoints are here. And thank goodness, they're even starting to unify their locations. That grocery is the closest one I haven't been to recently. My inventory is also jam-packed with stuff that I'd prefer not to be carrying around all day. But I think I'm going to take a trip to this grocery. Is that Clara? Hey, hi. Enough blabbering. But I figure I want to run to that grocery because it's the it's the least used one for me, so it's got to have something interesting in it. Try to buy food with whatever I've got. Uh, maybe take my antibiotics with me in case they're valuable. Uh, eat so I stop dying. Uh, then drop off all my excess stuff so I can take the trip over to everybody on the west side while still being able to have inventory space to fill up on and everything. So I cleaned our place up, I burned the trash, took away the bones, I mean the cracked ones, and I put that weird gray goo from the table in a bucket. Might be useful, right? No rest for the wicked, huh? I can also whip up something for us to eat. Got any money? Don't you dare. Anyway, when are you coming back? Should I wait for you or what? Someone's got to take care of your dad's stuff, and... stuff. I think it would be great if we did it together. Why do you care, anyway? By the way, I, uh... broke a pipe over there. I don't think it was important, though, so don't hit me, alright? I'll fix it myself. Borrow's a pipe like that, I bet I'll trade it for a bottle of alcohol. We have a couple of those, right? Just... Just stay here and don't go anywhere. Don't even move. Got it? Got it. Good, kiddo. Great. Keep it up. Just behave. <laughs> they maintain that silly thing. Time to pay visit to the lair. They, uh, they kept that silly thing from the last game that is hilariously nonsensical and I kind of love it. Is that there's garbage cans that are just tipped over and upside down and like unusable in their current state. You'd have to like rectify them. And yet, new garbage spawns in them. And I'm like, who's throwing stuff away in this upside down garbage can without flipping it over or anything? Uh oh. Guys. I like, don't have time for this right now. Alright, what's happening? Now everyone acknowledges you. Everyone says you have embarked upon the path of your father. Make it so they unlock the termitary. Bite Karan. Something's off about it. Trouble must be brewing. What trouble? We don't know. Make them tell us. Make them open the termitary. Make who? Fat Vlad? He won't listen. Everyone's saying, now, you're now a Menku. Once you're allowed to cut bodies, cut, my brother, please. Release him of evil meat, so he may speak. When will I be allowed to do that? The elders will say when. Can we bring my brother to you? Will you cut away his pain? If I myself live to see that fine moment... You were unjustly suspected yesterday, but now everyone believes you. My sister is about to give birth. The older woman said the child is big. She is small, so she'll be she will die if not helped. Will you help her? I will. Bring her here when your when her water breaks. Aw. We're becoming a central hero figure in this group. A doctor that people trust and come to, and the screen is freeze. Oh! What does that mean? What? 
What does that mean? I'm dying right now. Don't add shit to my plate. The streets are empty. An alarm bell is tolling. The sound comes from the town hall. Is this what Bachelor wanted to talk about? Some things aren't bound to happen. What? Did I just lose my house? I don't know if I care that much, honestly, but... Ah... Uh... Wow, it's already 7 p.m., huh? Alright, well, that's what this game is. Enjoy. Be careful what you wish for. This campaign is basically structured how I always hoped it would be. Now it's time for stress. Now it's time for too many objectives and too little time. And overwhelming odds. <clears throat> This district is locked down under Dr. Donkovsky's orders. These districts are off limits until anyone but to anyone but medical personnel. Are you that Vor Vorak guy? Okay, so he doesn't know my name, so he's not he may he might not be a local. Now oh, that's news. What's going on? Why is the area locked off? People say something happened to the factory, like an emission. Toxic soot in the air. Makes your eyes water in a minute. Wouldn't it be smart to go in without protection. And what does your beloved Denkovsky say? He says the district is locked down and off limits to anyone but doctors. Vorak allowed. Burak. He sure has memory issues, doesn't he? Immunity boosters. Two pills. Protective clothes. One unit. Here you go. Pills. Pills are good. Whoa, he's loading me up. Cool. I was just thinking about how I forgot to go back and... I probably... yeah. I didn't forget. That's the wrong phrasing, but I mean, like, I... The moment I, that this came up, I was like, oh, I should, uh, probably have my... my gear. I don't have a cloak or gloves. Back home I have gloves I could put on. But I don't know if it's worth the trip just for the gloves. Alright. Shoes, worn and unimpressive. Cloth mask covers the face. This mask resembles those worn by medicinal personnel, but instead of sterile gauze, it's made of dirty cloth, and instead of clinging tightly to my face, it hangs loose. Frankly, it's just a rag with two ties. Shoes. It's forbidden to, for herb brides to have footwear. It's believed they speak with earth through their rhythmic footsteps. Winter must get cold. Alright, so I've got some protection. Monomycinium, Neomycinium, that's what the other guy gave me. That's, uh, Notkin. Immunity boosters. Yes. Woo! Things have changed. Okay. Scientifically speaking, there's no consensus on if immunity can be boosted at all. However, these, pi these pills work well. According to the box, they were manufactured more than 50 years ago. Let me look at that again. Oh. First of all, that's like 25% per pill, which is pretty neat. But my health stayed the same. The penalty is gone. In a game that's harder in some ways, that's interesting. They took away the penalty where you lose health every time you use any kind of medicine. Maybe other ones might cause pain, I don't know. But at the very least, immunity boosters don't. In fact, these... Th do I even use these, though, on myself, or do I only use them on other pa on patients I'm treating? I don't know. All I know is I got freaking immunity boosters, and they work, and they don't kill me in the process. That is a difference that I was not expecting. Immunity protects one's health in infected districts. I should keep it high. Protective clothing also helps. Okay, so... It's fitting that I would just abruptly lose... It's fitting I would just abruptly lose storylines and have them all cut off by this happening. Because this should be a disruptive moment in the campaign. It's the it's the plague breaking out. This is it. No one's ready for it. It just happens. Me, The Bachelor, none of us were even here for the plague. Or at least we didn't know that at the time. That's creepy. Nope, groceries that way. So I'm scared because I don't know how the plague will manifest. 
I remember how it was last time. But I think they even claimed that they weren't going to do it the same way again. Like, not the same mechanics. Which makes me really unsure about how it will manifest this time. Oh, is my immunity just going down over time for being here? I think it is. I think... I don't... Huh. I mean, that makes sense. More or less. At least it makes more sense than what they did last time. Should I be even going in here, frankly? Will this be a functioning store, or will it be like a nightmare? Hi. How you doing? Ah, that's a distressing face. And food. Fish. Doesn't care about herbs. Doesn't care about any of my remedies. Does care about pills. She understands pills. But not tinctures. Those are private. Those are mine. <sighs> I am. This food problem is constantly weighing down on me in a way I never really fully anticipated. Fuck. Man. I just can't keep myself alive. I don't want to sell these because they could be useful, but what else do I have? Definitely get rid of scissors. <laughs> it's the one gimme I have here. And this is an excess chisel I just picked up. Ammo might be a go-to. Probably regret this. God, I can't even afford fish. So we're at about 500 flat. Honestly, going heavy on water is a good idea. Just because I keep finding it. It's easy enough for me to treat my thirst by just drinking it directly, so... And I don't encounter the guy that the guy that wants to trade water for other stuff that often. Empty bottles are worth more than full ones? Why? Weird. Man, I am so anti-thirsty. Look at me. I'm so hydrated right now. You won't even understand how hydrated I am. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay. Takes me to 52. Let's do top shelf shit. Filling, although I'm not sure what type of food is inside is a distressing de description. Before I returned to the town, I grabbed a whole sack of canned food. Survived on it for almost a week. I can hardly stand the smell now. Well, I want to live. Kill that hunger meter. Kill it dead. Oh my god, it's not even half down. Ah! <laughs> ah! God damn. Alright, well... At least we're done with the hunger situation. So... Fun curiosity, but I am super out of here. Let's get out of here before immunity gets much worse. 
So I think they got rid of the plague clouds. I mean, there's some version of plague cloud because we saw something in a house before. That's just a tree. Making that sound. Alright. If it's like last time, I think your durability goes down over time while you're wearing it? I don't know. That was always an annoying mechanic. I always wish that it would only go to- I always wish that it would only go down in durability when it fends off plague. Or you get hit or something, as opposed to just fend constantly being a thing. I'm gonna try to dump off my extensive uh, diagnosis kit. Diagnosis kit. Hello, Aspity. I'll get you. I'll get you on the way out. Oh. I'll keep those on. I can leave the morphine here. Got a spare mask here. All right. Their murderer is a step demon, a Shabnak Adik. I just know it. You guys cannot decide on the pronunciation of that word. Let's see, so let's... Okay, so the cloth match ma the cloth mask's durability is right at the first little notch. I'm gonna run around with it on for a bit, and we'll see if it goes down or not. Because I don't, I don't want to make mistakes that are based on assumptions from the previous game and stuff like that. I would love it if I could just keep the stuff on and have it just wear down when it actually gets used, as opposed to just when I'm wearing it. Because uh, that, that made me never want to wear clothes last game. Bekara. You are a true heir to Isidore. You show it with alacrity, with your deeds. You know the ties that bind the world. I just try to follow the lines. Any new thoughts on the contents of the Udhar? The murderer still breathes, that's what's bothering me. Yeah, it's like, brief whatever stuff. Gotta move on. Yeah. Just trying to come up with ways to sort this inventory that make me happy. The freaking plants don't fit neatly into one category and it drives me crazy. Ah, uh, I totally want to have like a nice little plant belt. Alright. So I need to I need to get to the town hall. That is the current goal. But I want to get there via a district that's not full of bad. This is a trip. So just to make it as clear as possible that like this is a town-wide crisis. It's t this is it's time to look into this. This is your only objective right now. Do it, do it. There's just rats every... No, right, well, the rats are everywhere, too, but... Uh, there's just... These people. The tragedians are just everywhere, pointing where I need to go. Just follow them. What a trip. What a visual. Everyone's out of the streets. The, sh the city is shut down. Why are those everywhere? Oh, because I'm by the theater? No, the lump. We're 
We're almost there. I go around. Oh man, did they strip all the loot away during this event? Here we go. What could go wrong? The gang's all here. All right. Who loves me the most? Hey, buddy. Oh, jeez. Well, under the circumstances, uh, any inheritance would be uh, opportune. An epidemic, Barak. Plague. And if the... It's the sand plague that smothered 300 of my workers five years ago. Then it's serious. Very serious, my boy. Your father saved us back then, but now? Now I, I need you at hand. Do I make myself clear? Clear as day. A family doctor. A tame doctor, right? You know, Burak, in olden days, pirates used to hunt ships that carried doctors, because they were worth more than gold. Imagine that. And I'm a bit of an old pirate myself. <laughs> Be prudent, my boy. Surely you appreciate your value now. I will help your family, Bolts, if you can help mine. You don't understand yet. You're bullheaded. You're a bullheaded, stubborn young man, but you will. When a three-body-thick pile of corpses lies atop Isidore's, maybe we will talk again. I literally said I'd cooperate with you, but I expect, but I want your cooperation and help too. This is you, and you're acting like, oh, you're not gonna work with me, huh? This is a really reasonable way of to talk to a businessman character, as far as I'm aware. Uh, it's... I find it interesting... <clears throat> they kind of... yeah, they, ch they change things. It's interesting. Uh, last time around, there was, it, there was like an inevitability. People kept talking about the sand plague over and over again. And there was clearly some kind of disease, and we couldn't figure out what it was, and we thought it was spreading, and there was more and more hints of it getting around. Especially in the Bachelor campaign, which you play, which I played first. This It's really interesting going into this from Burke's perspective in this game, where... Essentially, Burke has a completely different situation, where he's trying to track down the killer of his father, and... He's trying to reconcile with his old friends and things like that, and none of that heavily involves the plague. I think the only really strong hint we had of the plague, besides the prologue that clearly sets up that's going to happen, uh, is the uh, when we went into my dad's house and there was a weird cloud floating in it, and they're like, "Nope, not going in that room." Uh, that was one of the stronger hints. We ever got that there even was a plague besides just the premise of you know knowing that we're going in this game that's called path pathologic and all that uh so it's a, we we actually do genuinely get to play a character who has completely different goals and ideals and just generally just shit going on in his life that gets blindsided somewhat by like this like by the way the entire town's fucked and you're stuck here and this is the situation now. Here's the new premise, basically. 
everything up until now was basically the internal struggles and drama of those characters you see in a television show or a movie before the zombie outbreak happens. Or uh, the plot of, like, From Dusk Till Dawn before it turns into a vampire movie. Like, it, we just, we, we've just been sidelined by this other thing. Although, there's a good chance that the murder and so on is connected to the plague, so it's not completely out of nowhere. Uh, and not completely, uh, uh, did, uh, we're not being completely sidelined into a completely different story necessarily, but it really is like we have a character that has his own complicated relationship with the town and its characters, and then plague happens, which I never f quite got to feel this last time around, especially since the interpersonal characters' interactions just weren't strong enough, and the character and the dialogue was too cryptic last time around. Like nowadays, like now, this is way more immediately, like emotive RPG. <clears throat> Is this a medical meeting? Why wasn't I invited? That's of no concern to you, Burak. Everything important that could be done, I've done already. There will be a fund. There will be a headquarters. Intrigues. Sleepless nights. Everyone here thinks they're crucial to defeating the outbreak, but they're scared. Mistaken. What can they tell you? I'm a doctor. I need the full picture. So you have some time on your hands. Then go to each of them. Talk to one, two, three people. Fill your head with minutiae. While time... Time is running out. Your time. Seven empty conversations. You don't need them. I can tell you all you need to know. The irony here, of course, is that in pathologic time pauses when you talk to people. So, I actually have all the time in the world to talk to people. It's like the only thing you definitely have time for in these games. In fact, how much dialogue there is in a given day greatly dilates the duration of said day. Because you spend so long talking to people sometimes. And other days you spend a lot of time running around, in which case the clock's always running at real time. It's your fault. You should have invited me from the start. But then I'm not going to opt out of dialogue. Bachelor. God, what an idiot I was. Yeah, probably. Usually, actually. Oh, God. Ah, I'm just thinking of all the th stupid things you did last time. Ah. Uh, all right, yeah. That's a fitting piece of dialogue for you to have. <laughs> Burak, the situation is regretful. I just didn't have time to warn you. This was ugly of you. Well, let's get down to business. We have three doctors in town. Four if we count the deranged girl who claims to have a healing touch. Rubbish, of course. But she has a lot of energy, and she knows a thing or two, so it won't hurt to let her work. And Burke, allow me to be frank. Shoot. Where did you graduate? What are your qualifications? Do you have a degree? I'm a surgeon and a damn good one. Burke, I want you to become my aide. Our primary goal is developing a vaccine. You're a local and enterprising. I need your help. Enterprising. <laughs> uh, I've been ripping organs out of people in order to turn them into flower plant trade things. Yeah. No, I haven't been. Not yet. I've been just been using blood to turn, get flowers, but not, not organs yet. I have not actually even made contact with any kind of uh, kin network for that kind of stuff yet, have I? I don't know. Maybe the random... Uh, I haven't had organs to check, actually. <clears throat> I wonder if the, the, uh, the flower girls... What are they called? Flower... Brides? Wire brides? Something like that. Uh, I wonder if they might trade you for organs, or if you, or if you have to find a kin HQ, because I haven't even found one yet. I haven't even been to that... the fields much, admittedly. I've been... a little overwhelmed. <laughs> mm. 
A vaccine is something you create for the future, not for people who are sick now. You just want to protect your buddies in the capital if the plague spreads, huh? Other towns like this one exist, you know. If this disease is half as lethal as the outbreak five years ago, this place is doomed. Other people can still be saved. Or people, or perhaps you have better suggestions. How can you know that? You weren't here five years ago. You weren't here five days ago. Neither were you. But I've been collecting evidence since yesterday. When you were dashing around the step, my explorations have actually been successful. And mind your tone, Baruch. I don't take kindly to rudeness. Familiarity breeds affection. I'm sure you'll grow to appreciate it. What do you have in mind, Baruch? I need to find a way to save people. And you're calling me ambitious? If this is the same disease that broke out here five years ago, then plague is like mumps compared to it. We don't know what really happened during that outbreak. Think about it. A curative serum for an unknown disease? This, cont this contagious and this lethal, on sh such short notice. What a utopian thought. A vaccine, on the other hand, can protect the healthy, the people who still have a chance. Go to hell, Am Shen. I will make the vaccine, but I can't do it without you. All you need to do is be at hand and do as I say. I will take full responsibility for the situation. Perhaps I'll pass by if I have time. <laughs> 